The People Versus in association with the Daily Mail. All the answers every day. to the people versus come up with a question that has a contestant falling down and you could win up to one thousand pounds we start today with a player returning from our last show here he is and it's andrew williams from Finslow in middlesex how are you doing andrew i'm very well how are you now is it i'm very well thank you is it true that you have promised faithfully if you win any money to take your girlfriend a lovely weekend it is true, yes. Good. Where are you thinking of? Um, south of France, but Italy. I would like to go to Sorrento. OK, well, let's not disappoint the lady, or indeed you. Yeah. Remind yourselves of where you are. You've got 500 quid so far, Andrew, because you came through round three. In fine style, it has to be said, you've got all three flips intact and you've got 2 minutes 29 on the clock. It is within your grasp. Okay. I can hear Sorrento. <laughs> if, you, if you continue, of course, you're going to head for round five and get yourself £3,000 if you get five correct answers in round five and then start all over again. You could be in Sorrento for the rest of the year, Andrew. I certainly hope so. <laughs> Are you ready to play? Yes, I am. Let's play. This is The People versus Andrew Williams. Which sauce is traditionally served with roast lamb? Mint. Correct. Which actress played the starring role in the 1995 film While You Were Sleeping? Sandra Bullock. Correct. Two more. In which country is the Gibson Desert? Australia. Correct. One more. In geology, which period immediately followed the Triassic era? Pass. The Jurassic. Just a little one. Who is the main presenter of the television programme Changing Rooms? Carol Smiley. Correct. <laughs> Smiley, Carol yeah. Smiley, Smiley, you know Carol it. Smiley. And you should be smiling <laughs> because you've got £1,000. Uh, 1 minute 53 in the clock and all three flips. Right, Andrew, decision time. With £1,000, you could have a lovely little weekend to yourself, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to gamble it? No, I'm going to take it. You're going to take it? I'm too much of a coward. <laughs> Not at all. Andrew, £1,000 you have. Yeah. Well done and arrivederci. Thank you very much. Our next up is Pat Crowley from Romford in Essex. How are you doing, Pat? Hello, Kay. Fine, thank you. Good, good. You're a window cleaner by day and a club singer by night. Correct. My goodness, there's a good mix for you. <laughs> and you must have had some success in your time because I read you uh, knocked the Beatles off the number one spot in 1964. Many years ago, yeah. In Turkey? In Turkey. Yes. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's Clock. a start, though, isn't it? Absolutely. Clock up a victory. <laughs> let's get started, Pat. Are you ready to play? I'm OK. Good, let's play. This is The People vs Pat Curley. Which battle ended the Wars of the Roses in 1485? Pass. It was the Battle of Bosworth. Which actress made her directorial debut with the 1991 film Little Man Tate? Pass. It was Jodie Foster. In which European city is Shakespeare's Measure for Measure set? Pass. Vienna. Need one. Who topped the charts in 2000 with Rock DJ? Robbie Williams. It was. Time. Your special subject is pop music of the 1960s, <laughs> but you're clearly quite knowledgeable across the board because that's got you your 100 quid. Let's go into round two. Okay. Which colour officially moves first in a game of chess? Pass. It's white. In which European city are the Tivoli Gardens? Copenhagen. Correct. Galvanising is the process of protecting iron or steel by applying a coat of which metal? Pass. Zinc. Who wrote the Doctor Doolittle books? Pass. Hugh Lofting. Still need one pack. Headingley Cricket Ground is located in which city? Headingley. Pass. You have to flip. It's I'll Leeds. Flip. Alan Clark was the lead singer of which group? The Hollies. Correct. 
There you go, that flip question got you out of trouble there, Pat. It did. It got you your 250 <laughs> quid. That means, of course, you've got two flips remaining and two minutes 48 on the clock. Right. Happy to go into round three? Yes. OK. Who played Judy Dench's husband in the 1980s TV sitcom A Fine Romance? I think I know, but I've passed to be safe. It was Michael Williams. Williams. What is the first name of the son of former Prime Minister John Major? Pass. It's James. What was Frank Sinatra's middle name? I'll have to flip. It's Albert. Flip question. Which band had a hit single in 1964 with needles and pins? Such as. Correct. Need two more now, Pat. What is the literal translation of the French term Moulin Rouge? Moulin Rouge. I have to flip again. It's the Red Windmill. Here's your flip question. What was Manfred Mann's first UK number one single? It's one of two. Take your time, because you need two correct answers to get your £500 now. What was Manfred Mann's first UK number one single? 54321. Oh, no. <laughs> What was the other thing you were going to say? Do I diddy diddy? Do I diddy diddy? You chose the wrong one. Um, sorry, Pat. <laughs> I don't know if you want to know this, but the man who forced you to flip was David Wright from Essex. Well done to you, David. You, of course, now have your eyes on the £250 that Pat has got in play. Right, Pat, let's send you away at least with something. Choose game one, two, or three. Let's beat the bong. One of these is a bong free zone. It goes all the way to £250. Which one would you like? I'll try three, please, Kay. Number three, OK. Good luck, Pat. Thank you. Thirty pounds, sixty pounds, eighty pounds, ninety pounds, ninety nine pounds, one hundred pounds, one hundred and fifty seven pounds, one hundred and ninety eight. <laughs> 198 quid. David Wright from Essex, you've got yourself £52. Right, where would the bong have come in? Though you did really well to hang on to there. Um, 199, 240, 245. That's where it came. I'm happy with that. You're happy with that, yeah. I'm glad. £198. <laughs> Pat, well done. Thank Thanks, you very Kate. much for playing. Thanks very much. Bye bye. <laughs> In the wings was Judy Peacock from East Yorkshire, who's a customer service manager at a travel company. Hi, Judy, how are you? Hello. Fine, thank you. Good, good. Your special subject is the royal family since 1952. Yep. And like the dear old Queen Mum, you like a bit of a flutter yourself, I don't you? I certainly do, yes. Yes, you do. You <laughs> like the horses. OK, well, I hope you're feeling in gambling mood, Julie. Yeah, you ready to much. play? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's play. This is The People versus Julie Peacock. Who wrote the children's novel, The Railway Children? Pass. E. Nesbitt. In the abbreviation ISDN, what does the letter D stand for? Pass. Digital. Who is the famous actress daughter of Debbie Reynolds? Pass. Carrie Fisher, only looking for one. Who played the scientist, Dr. Sam Beckett, in the US TV series, Quantum Leap? Pass. Scott Bakula. What is the name of the Maori ceremonial war dance performed by the New Zealand rugby team at the start of a match? The haka. Correct. <laughs> All the questions you didn't know, you knew that one. Well done. £100, um, 3 minutes 22 on the clock, and you've got all three flipped. Might be a good idea, actually, for our contestants to do the haka before they start. Yeah. You know, it might get you in the right mood. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll take a short break and you can do it yourself in privacy, OK? okay. <laughs> Join us again in a couple of minutes on the Beeble Versus. The People Versus in association with the Daily Mail. All the answers every day. The People Versus in association with the Daily Mail. All the answers every day. Welcome back.
back to the People Versus, where Julie Peacock from East Yorkshire is yet to have her feathers ruffled, but perhaps the question you've sent in is coming up to change all that. <laughs> We're in round two, Julie. We're looking for two correct answers. Right. Let's take the first question. Toro is the Spanish name for which animal? A bull. Correct. What are the first names of the comedians French and Saunders? Uh, Dawn and Jennifer. Correct. <laughs> there you go, two out of two, no problem. £250. You had a bit of a stinky first round, but things are getting better. Luck of the draw, Julie, this programme, entirely. Yeah. <laughs> round three. In the TV series Teletubbies, what colour is Dipsy? Green. Correct. <laughs> Who played Arnold Schwarzenegger's twin in the 1988 film Twins? Danny DeVito. Correct. In which decade was Cardiff made capital of Wales? Pass. 1950s. Need one now. Keith, Mikey, Shane, Stephen and Ronan were members of which boy group? Boyzone. Correct. £500, you threw through round three. Are you a secret boys one fan or do you don't care if anyone knows? Uh, well, yeah, the, the last one. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're in round four now, Julie. For £1,000, you need four correct answers to get yourself that grand in your hand. You happy to go for it? Yeah. Good. You do like a flutter, don't you? <laughs> Here's your first question. From which country does Pinotage wine come? Pass. South Africa. How many strings does a standard cello have? Pass. Four. You have to flip. It's four. Sorry. Flip question. <clears throat> In which year of the 1950s did Queen Mary die? And you can flip again if you don't know it. Um, 53. Correct. Who composed the ballet The Sleeping Beauty, first performed in St. Petersburg in 1890? Tchaikovsky. Correct. In which 1970s pop band did Jules Holland play? Oh. Um. Is it there somewhere? I'll have to flip. Flip, yeah. Squeeze, here's your yeah. flip question. At which venue did the Duke of Kent marry Catherine Worsley in 1961? Yorkminster. Correct. So one for a £1,000, Julie. In EastEnders, what was the first name of Dot Cotton's husband who died in 1991? I'll have to flip again. Charlie's the answer. Did you flip? Which school did Princess Anne first attend in 1963? Benenden. Correct. It wasn't easy for you, Julie, no. but you made it. You made it. You've got £1,000. You're through round four. You've exhausted all of your flips. You had to use those, but that was entirely the right thing to do. Better to flip than flop. Decision time. Quit or quiz? I'm going to take the money. I'm you not that much of a gambler. You're not that much of a gambler. <laughs> what would the Queen Mother do, Julie? That's what you've got to yeah, ask yourself. Well, she's got a bit more money than me. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a very good point. Julie, you've done well. You've got £1,000. Enjoy it. Thanks Thank very much. Thank you very much. £1,000 goes off to East Yorkshire. I wonder what Stanley Taylor from Huddersfield will take away with him. Hello there, Stanley. Hello. Yeah, hello. How are you feeling today? A whole bit like that, a bit like that. <laughs> yes. Now, you're an ex-RAF man, so I'm sure you've got nerves of steel. I hope so. Well, I believe one of your ambitions has been to appear on television. We've yes. sorted that out, Stanley. Yes. Let's make sure it's worth your while, OK? Yes. OK. You ready to play? Yes, when you are. Let's play. This is The People versus Stanley Taylor. In Shakespeare's tragedy, Othello, who is Othello's wife? Bass. It's Desdemona. Which actress starred as Nina Banks, the mother in the 1991 film Father of the Bride? Bass again. It's Diane Keaton. Babe Ruth was a famous name in which sport? Baseball. Correct. That's it, Stanley. Wait for the one you want. Yeah. £100 you've got and 3 minutes 39 on the clock. Let's go into round two. On a standard UK QWERTY keyboard, 
Which letter lies between B and M? Bash again. It's N. How many pawns does each player have at the start of a standard game of chess? Bash. It's eight. If is the French word for which food? Bash again. It's egg. What is actor Brad Pitt's real first name? Bash again. You have to flip. It's William. Here's oh, your flip question. Flip. What was the name of the defensive line that Germany built along its western border? Siegfried Line. Correct. You need one more, Sammy. Who was Prime Minister between 1937 and 1940, before Winston Churchill's first term? Neville Chamberlain. Correct. <laughs> now, that was a little gift for you there, Stanley, well, from was, Mandy yes. Allen Norfolk. Keep them like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could do that. 250 quid, well done. You've used one of your flips, but you've still got two left. <laughs> Happy to go into round three? Yes. OK. Which ocean lies between Australia and Africa? The Indian Ocean. Correct. According to the Bible, Methuselah lived to what age? Bat again. 969. What was the first name of Queen Victoria's first child? I'm passing, passing again on this one. It's Victoria. Still yeah. need two correct <laughs> answers. What is the capital of Jersey? St. Elia. Correct. One more. Which band leader had the catchphrase, wakey, wakey? Billy Cotton. Correct. <laughs> I think you've got influence, Stanley. These questions are coming out very nicely for you. £500 and you didn't use any of your flips. Well done. I have to tell you, these questions are entirely random, just whatever people put in. Stanley, round four, you can get £1,000 out of this, which would be very nice, wouldn't it? Yes, it would be very nice. All you need, four correct answers. Here's your first question. The xylophone and metallophone belong to which section of an orchestra? The xylophone and the metallophone. Which section of the orchestra? I'm passing on lead. It's percussion. <laughs> How many types of blood are there in the ABO blood group system? I'm passing again. You have to flip, it's four. Flip, flip again. Which country, along with Denmark, was invaded by Germany in the first days of April 1940? Norway. Correct. You need three correct answers for £1,000. Becky Sharp is the heroine of which novel by William Thackeray? Uh, I have to flip again. Flip. Flip. It's Vanity Fair. Here's your flip. Which Russian city was besieged by German forces from the 8th of September 1941 to the 27th of January 1944? Leningrad. Correct. Look for two correct answers. You're out of flips now, Stanley. Apart from Jeff Hurst, mm -hmm. who scored a goal for England in the 1966 World Cup final? Apart from Jeff Hurst. Martin Chivers. Oh. <laughs> That away from it, Stanley. It was Martin Peters. Oh. Hard lines. Jason Perrett from Birmingham is the man who blew the full-time whistle on you. Well done to you, Jason. Right, though, Stanley, you've got £500 here. Let's see if you can beat the bong and stop Jason cleaning up. I'll give you a choice of three games. One, two and three. One of them goes all the way to £500. Which one would you like? Number two. Number two. OK. Yeah. Best of luck, Stanley. 27 pounds, 99 pounds, 101 pounds, 104 pounds, 228 pounds, 337 pounds. There goes the bong and bang goes your money, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. You have sent Jason Perrett in Birmingham <clears throat> £500, Stanley. £500 to you, Jason, for sending in that question. Stanley, I'm very sorry, but you're going home with nothing. Just one of those things. Yo. Thank mm. you, Stanley.
Stephen Cook from Chesterfield is next up, and a postal worker. Oh, you don't want to see that happening to you, do you, Stephen? Oh, I know, one in ten. Yeah, but never mind, you're a member of Mensa, which means you're one of the most intelligent people in the country. You'll have no, no problem. Morality. <laughs> well, horror films is your special subject, Stephen. Do not turn this programme into one. Mm. Are you ready to play? Yeah. Let's play. This is The People versus Stephen Cook. Which river runs through the city of Bath? Avon. Correct. Are you a relieved man or what? <laughs> You've got £100, Stephen, and uh, that took you only four seconds. It's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Now, going into round two, you need two correct answers, but you're going to have time just to collect yourself because we're going to end this show now. But we will see you next time, Stephen, on show. The People Versus. Well, today, two contestants quit with a grand rather than risk it all on round five. This show is the ultimate challenge of general knowledge, but if you think your wits won't mutiny under national scrutiny, then visit our website at www.itv.co.uk or you can write to The People vs. P.O. Box 3033, London, WC 2E 9QS. Until the next time, from Stephen and me, goodbye. The People Versus in association with the Daily Mail. All the answers every day.